Hello and welcome. This is my son Lucas. Say hi hi. I'm looking. You do what, sorry? I'm looking. You're looking? Oh, you want to see yourself. Okay, look and can you see daddy? Choo choo no. <laughs> oh dear. He's playing with the train behind the camera. Welcome, and I'd like to talk about a t-shirt I'm wearing. Do you like this t-shirt? What does it say? Hopefully you can make it out in the light. It says GMO, oh my god. <laughs> and there's some more writing on the back of the t-shirt. I think I paid $25 for it, and this is organic cotton. Now why would I be sharing this with you? Because something mega important is happening in California in November. It's called Proposition 37. And for those of you who don't know what it's about, please get informed. It is a massive, I've got to say massive, huge opportunity for Californians to vote, which will mean, if they vote yes for this, that all products that have GMO, genetically modified organisms, or sometimes you guys refer to it as genetically engineered, would have to be labelled. Now, do you not think that's important? Would you like to not know what you are consuming? Well, the answer to that question is yes, if you care about your health. The research is pretty crystal clear. Jeffrey Smith will obviously back this up from stack loads of research showing that if animals are fed genetically modified organisms, what will happen is they will reduce their chances of reproducing over a short period of time. Their testicles change colour and change size, their internal organs start to shrink and shrivel. I mean, I'm just using layman's terms here, but the bottom line is they die. Now why would that be the case? Quite simply, because playing God with our food hasn't occurred for 3.2 million years plus. And although it's a nice idea, thinking that we can use toxic chemicals like Agent Orange and Monsanto, um, other, uh, what's it called, um, Roundup and things like that, to put onto crops, to make them resistant to that so that they can survive. But the reasons why crops would die was because Mother Nature in her wisdom thought, well if there isn't enough nutrients in the soil to sustain this plant, it will be returned back to the earth until there's enough nutrients in the soil to sustain the plants or foods. So I know I've been on a little bit of a journey there but the bottom line is if you are from California you have an amazing opportunity to take control of your health and to vote. Proposition 37. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I know that if I lived in California I would certainly vote and say no to GMO and it certainly needs to be labelled on the foods. Now let's think of it this way, if GMO was all this wonderful thing that it's allegedly, um, I should say, it's kind of propaganda, but promulgated via Monsanto and um, DuPont and all the other companies and PepsiCo etc etc, if it was so wonderful then surely you'd want to have it labelled, you know, and had the little, little icon saying GMO? No because they don't want you to know that, even though I think it's something like 90% of a lot of um, corn products in the States presently is genetically modified and people don't even know they're eating it. And there's about eight or nine other Franken foods that are genetically modified that you might be consuming even if you don't live in California. But once this is passed in California, it will then sweep across the rest of the states. And in over 50 countries, like the UK, which is where I'm from, it's already labelled. So how come not in, in the United States? Well, that's down to money. And if you think that over four million has been spent by the big companies like Monsanto, DuPont and PepsiCo, etc., trying to um, advertise to say how wonderful it is and it doesn't need to be labelled, etc., etc., it's an opportunity. Over to you. As always, please do have fun. I certainly am. It's a fun day with my son, Lucas. He's just over two years old now. What are you, two years and one month? And we're going to do a balancing ball act here. Uh. Huh? <laughs> one of my greatest teachers. Have fun. My love to you all. Bye for now.